So then back to the theory of that people think this is the lost city of Atlantis. This is Atlantis. Most of that was found in the place where we just were, where I said, where I talked about that, that people think that's the real location of Atlantis. I think I reached the top. No, not yet. Oh, it's so rocky everywhere here. My rear tire is getting a real beating. It's really... Because I had a good look at my tire in Atar. And if I look at it now, just two days. And a lot of rocks and oh, it's damaging really quickly now. Hey, there's some people here. There's somebody riding a camel there. Just out in the middle of nowhere on his own. See on my navigation, you can see the circles, you can see the reshot structure. Cool, right? You see it? Oh, Ahmed's picking up some nomads. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Salam. Ça va bien? Et vous? Ça va? Very good. Very, very good. Alright, we had some camel milk and some tea and I'm going to continue. The Rishad structure is still about 30 kilometers away and that's only the outer ring because the diameter is about 40 kilometers so it's huge um, so we better get going uh, these camels will belong to the nomads where we just had camel milk they move every month so every month they move about 10 kilometers to the next place with the animals That's, they do that all the time from Ouadan, pretty much until El Biet, and then back again. Always looking for grounds for the animals. Oh, look at that. There's a little baby. Hi, you go to Mama, okay? <laughs> so cute. You're okay. You're on the track, sweetheart. Just go on the side. And you're good. <laughs> yeah, good camel. I am now about five kilometers from the outer ring. But somewhere there's gotta come 
another rocky descent because all this time I've been riding on this plateau but what goes up must go down so it's gonna be interesting although going down usually it's a bit easier than going up motorcycle very rocky but not steep anymore Whew. there's no end <laughs> to the sea of rocks they may wait for Ahmed here and take a little break, maybe. <sighs> Problem? Ah, uh, to check oil? Uh, no. No, no, no oil. I look for you. Attach for the for the for the engine. Uh oh like tie rip. Yeah. You want tie rip? Yeah. One? Fixed. <laughs> I was riding ahead and suddenly I'm like, where's Ahmed? So I came back to look. We are almost on the outside ring. I don't know if you can see that on my GPS. the outer rig. You see it on my GPS? See here? Oh. See, I'm now the outer rig. So rocky. here.
I am here, I am here. What a place, right? It is incredible. And I mean, 40 kilometers in diameter, that's what we're looking at. What is generally believed is that a huge bulb of molten magma kind of pushed all the rocks up here. So what you see here is a combination of a lot of sedimentary rocks, there's sandstones, but there's also a lot of volcanic rocks, of course, rhyolites, there are intrusive uh, volcanic rocks, there's extrusive volcanic rocks. So basically what have probably happened is that this magma pushed up all the rock existing rock layers until there was kind of like a huge dome. And over time, this dome has completely weathered down. And you can kind of compare it with if you cut an onion in half. So the onion was the dome of different rock layers that were pushed up and it's kind of weathered about halfway. And that's why you now see all these circular rings exposed. But basically it's all just rocks that were a long time ago being pushed up. So then back to the theory of that people think this is the lost city of Atlantis. I mean, it's, it's a natural feature that the earth created this, not people, but given the amount of archeological evidence that there is, that there used to be quite a lot more people living here, that I believe. So I do find it, I find it totally plausible that people picked this area a long time ago when it also looked a bit different and maybe used the natural landscape to live on. That I find totally possible, but it's not, the rocks were not placed here by humans. They are in situ rocks, so they were formed here through geological processes. Not, not placed, but the fact that an ancient civilization would have lived here a long time ago when it was greener and there was more water, that I think is definitely possible. If you look at all the artifacts that were found in this area, then I can't believe that. So we're now, as you can see, riding straight towards the center. But if you're actually riding through it and standing on it, you don't actually see it. You have to look from above. And, well, you can see it very clearly from space. It's just an incredible sight another climb coming. First sand and then rocks by the looks of it. difficult and that also means that now I'm again on the next ring if you want to call them see and now before I was on the outer one now I'm right on top of this one and then in the distance is the next one Just the scale, it's unbelievable, right? If you look at it from satellite images, you're like, ah, oh, I see all these rings. But if you're actually on the ground, you really get a grasp of, of the scale of it. I mean, 40 kilometers in diameter, that's just huge, right? Maybe I should also add, when you're talking about the weathering down of the dome, the reason why in some areas you then it's weathered completely. Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> keep paying attention. Um, in between here, it's when it's a lot more than, well, what we call that, the rings. And that all has to do with that it's different rock types. So some rocks are more resilient to weathering than others. And some of the rocks here have a much higher quartzite content. And all that silica makes it very resistant to weathering. So it takes longer for those rock types to be weathered down. Whereas softer rocks go faster and are disintegrated faster. It's just, ah, this is just an absolute incredible place. And it's so far out here just really difficult to reach and now approaching the center getting close to the absolute dead eye what done ah your exos oh, okay okay small welding job yeah yeah no problem no problem okay We're now moving out of the eye, We're moving out of the inner circle, back towards the second ring on the other side. So we're basically just riding from the complete one end of the eye through the center to the other, other end. And when we continue there, we are on our way to Wadan or Wadan. And Wadan is a small old settlement, historical place. Wadan is actually a Ksar, so that means a fortified village. So there's an outer wall that was built to protect the village. Many centuries ago, in the 11th century, this place used to be a very important trading town because we are now on what used to be one of the most important Trans-Saharan trade routes. So all the Camel caravans would pass through this place and some, some may still do until this day, I believe. I have to report at the gendarmerie, of course. Salam alaikum. Salam. 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 Yeah? Okay. <laughs> We collected a bunch of kids. <laughs> They're right behind us. This is uh, sell for gas oil for me. Ah, gas oil. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, am go uh, for the reparation. Yeah. For the welding. Yeah. Okay. You possible in the city? We have in a second route here, back here. But where do we meet here? Yeah. If you go here, no, this is city. We are here, look, this blue. This is here, uh, gendarmerie, checkpoint. Uh, we meet at gendarmerie. Okay. okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Ahmed is getting his exhaust fixed. It needs to be welded. It came loose. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna ride around the village a little bit. Check it out. This way, maybe. <laughs> Just get narrower and narrower. <laughs> Just crumbling down. I can't go 
Broadway Street. <laughs> and I fit through here. Just about, probably. to here Howard oh, Wow amazing place This is a bit wider I can find Ahmed again. He's getting the exhaust welded. <laughs> Alright, they welded Ahmed's exhaust. So we're leaving Wadan back into the desert on our way to the next town which is Chingeti and to reach Chingeti we're gonna have to ride a hundred kilometers of dunes <laughs> but we won't be able to do that all today it's already getting late so we're gonna ride uh, some dunes and then find a place to camp this is really cool to ride. These dunes are really gently sloping. set up camp here tonight somewhere all right we found a place this is where we're gonna set up camp and spend the night we're very close to a bigger oasis so we're just staying kind of on the outskirts of the oasis I am super tired <laughs> and I also really need the last bit of the Sun to set up camp and charge my batteries, transfer, well, set up my little work workstation and prepare all my gear for tomorrow. So I'm gonna end this video now. <laughs> what a day, what a day. <sighs> Spectacular. So that was it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.